I want to thank the House for putting on the agenda of this plenary the situation of prisoners in Hungarian jails, including the case of Ilaria Salas. As you know, detention issues are mainly a competence and responsibility of the Member States. But the Charter of Fundamental Rights does require that within the scope of EU law, detention conditions do not violate fundamental rights. In addition, all EU Member States have committed to respect standards on this matter from the Council of Europe, such as the 2006 European Prison Rules. At EU level in December 2022, the Commission adopted a recommendation on the procedural rights of suspects and accused in pre-trial detention and on material detention conditions. While the minimum standards laid down in the recommendation are not legally binding on Member States, instead they serve as a reference point to improve the situation in prisons within the EU. The issue of detention is one of the priorities of the Belgian Presidency of the Council. The topic of small-scale detention was discussed at the informal Justice Council on January the 26th. I would like to draw your attention to EU legislation which is relevant here. The Framework Decision 2009-829-JHA on the European Supervision Order allows suspected persons to be supervised in their home country while awaiting trial in another member state. It has been transposed by Hungary and Italy. The framework decision aims to prevent inequalities between residents and non-residents in the trial state. This is because non-residents are remanded in custody more often than residents in similar circumstances. The Commission is aware that bilateral contacts have taken place between Italy and Hungary. They have discussed the possibility of alternatives to detention in the case of Ms. Salas, including the possibility of house arrest while she awaits trial. This situation would be in line with the Council conclusions on alternative measures to detention, adopted during the Finnish Presidency in 2019. These conclusions point out that non-custodial sanctions and measures should be considered where appropriate to the circumstances of a case. I would like to underline that the Commission is available to help find a viable solution within the EU framework. The Commission attaches great importance to the respect for procedural rights for suspects and accused persons in criminal proceedings. The EU has adopted six procedural rights directives to establish EU-wide minimum standards for a high level of fair trial rights. These in, uh, rights include the right to interpretation and translation, the right to information and access to the materials of the case, in particular, all materials essential to effectively challenge the lawfulness of an arrest or detention, as well as the presumption of innocence, from which derives the prohibition to present suspects and accused persons as being guilty in court or in public through the use of measures of physical restraint. The Commission's priority is to make sure that all these rights are correctly and effectively implemented in practice by the Member States. Where necessary, the Commission will not hesitate to launch infringement proceedings if there are violations of EU law. More generally, the Commission will continue to monitor the efficiency, quality and independence of national justice systems of Member States through its annual Rule of Law reports and the EU Justice Scoreboard. Thank you. Thank you very much, Commissioner.